This video is on serratus anterior muscle and winging of scapula which occurs because of paralysis of serratus anterior muscle. Let us look at the origin and insertion of serratus anterior muscle. The origin is by eight digitations from the upper eight ribs, their outer surface and from the fascia which covers the intercostal muscles which are attached on these ribs. The insertion of the serratus anterior is along the medial border of the scapula on its costal surface. So here we can see this is the costal surface of the scapula and the serratus anterior, this blue colored attachment can be seen. This is on the costal surface of medial border of scapula. Now how exactly these eight digitations are inserted along the medial border. So the first digitation that will be attached from the superior angle of scapula till the root of the spine which will be present on the dorsal uh, surface of the scapula. Next two digitations they will be attached from the root of the spine till the inferior angle of the scapula. So two digitations will be there. Now we are left with five digitations. So the five digitations, they will be attached here on the triangular area over the inferior angle. Coming to action of the uh, serratus anterior muscle, uh, there are three actions. First is it keeps the medial border of the scapula in contact with the chest wall. Second is it is involved in protraction of scapula that is pulling the scapula forwards around the chest wall and this is done when a person performs pushing and punching actions here we can see the person is pushing against a wall here and this is the person who is punching and here they are taking the scapula forward along the chest wall so because of this this muscle is also known as boxer's muscle the third action is that it rotates the scapula upwards or laterally. So glenoid cavity now will face more upwards and this is done along with the help of the trapezius muscle. So here we can see here the scapula is rotated upwards or laterally and the glenoid cavity will be facing upward. When do we need this action? This action is needed when we do uh, abduction over the head. For that purpose, this muscle is needed. Let us look at the nerve supply of the serratus anterior muscle. It is supplied by long thoracic nerve, which we can see here. It's long. This nerve is long and is running on the thorax. That's why the name is long thoracic nerve. And the root value is C5, C6 and C7. It takes origin from the roots of the brachial plexus directly. It is also known as nerve of the bell. Let us look at the course of this nerve. It arises within the neck from these uh, ventral rami of the C5, C6 and C7 spinal nerves. Then it passes behind. You can see here it passes behind the brachial plexus in the posterior triangle of the neck and then enters the axilla by passing through cervico axillary canal right the canal between the cervical region that is neck and the axilla and the cervico axillary canal is bounded anteriorly by clavicle medially by first rib and posteriorly by the upper border of scapula then it leaves the axilla and runs on the outer surface of serratus anterior and supplies each digitation now this is a rare occurrence because most of the muscles they are supplied on their deeper surface by the nerves. Here the nerve is running superficial to the muscle and that's why it is liable to get injured here. So let us see what are the causes of winging of scapula. The cause is injury to long thoracic nerve and it results in paralysis of serratus anterior muscle. When does it occur? It may occur during mesectomy when the axillary node dissection is done along with removal of the lateral part of the breast. Now what will be the effect of the injury to long thoracic nerve? 
Now, this condition is known as winging of scapula. It is also known as boxer's palsy. It is also known as swimmer's palsy. Let us see why these names are given. Now, the effect would be that the medial border and the inferior angle of scapula, they become unduly prominent. They project backwards posteriorly, especially when the person is asked to push the wall in front of him or her. So at that time, the medial border and inferior angle, they become unduly prominent and it appears as if the person has got a wing attached on the back. That's why it is known as winging of scapula. Now, this person will not be able to do pushing and punching action. So that's why it is also known as boxer's palsy because the person cannot punch, right? Then, inability to raise the arm above the head that is over abduction is not done protraction is not done these moments are needed for swimming so that's why this is also known as swimmer's palsy thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and if you want to read all important questions along with their answers in anatomy then visit my website that is anatomyqa.com. I'll put the link of this website in the description box also.